trees? Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, no. No. Yes, no. Can you hear me? Please say you can. I hope you will be listening. Yay, you can hear me? Hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. I hope this view is not too far back. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are ready. And if it looks like this cup is mirrored on your end, it's not. It's not. It's, this is... This is how I made it by mistake. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Hey, Kelly. Hey, hey, Samantha. It looks great backwards. It didn't make my coffee taste different. Tastes exactly the same. Hey, Miss Victoria. Happy New Year. Your first live, Alex. Well, welcome. Thank you for being here. And let me go ahead and um apologize in advance because number one i'm probably not looking at the right camera so that's one i'm gonna look right here i'm gonna keep just looking right there uh number two i tried to lock the rotation on this ipad and hopefully it stays locked hey dims hey michelle oh you love you thank you she loves my mistakes because guess what I have a lot of them. <laughs> Which one do you love the most? Okay, I'm looking at the right one. <laughs> I have a lot of mistakes. Kristen, thank you. Yeah, in case y'all don't know, Kristen Cincy is the most positive person. If she's come to join your life, she's gonna help you. And even if you make a mistake, she's gonna be like, it's okay. Thank you, Dawn. That's how we learn. Okay, well, you're gonna be learning a lot. What the commercial say? You can learn a lot from a dummy. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> Remember those commercials? You can learn a lot from a dummy. Baby, right here. <laughs> Watching my live. Okay, look right here. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking right there. All right. Y'all, I have to laugh. You have to laugh to keep from crying because otherwise the machine would have been out the window. Okay? Right in the grass. Then the dog would have been trying to wonder what was going on. Don't apologize. Man. No mistakes. Opportunities. Well, I have a lot of opportunities to get better. Some things I don't want to be opportunities. <laughs> Patrice. <laughs> if you go through and draw all of this and still put it all upside down, because this is infusible ink markers. This took a long time. This took a very long time to make this and then put it on upside down. The greatest. No, I don't know about the greatest. And guess what? You did a million times. <sighs> yeah, I don't throw it though because I can't throw away my money. Because if I throw it out the window, I'm going to jump out and try to catch it. And then that's just going to be a whole other thing. <laughs> You're like, why are you out the window? Well, I was trying to catch my mug. All right, here we are with our goal. We are going to learn, hi Valerie, how to layer heat transfer vinyl, also known as HTV, also known as iron-on vinyl. It is unique. It is. It is. But you know what I meant. I, now, I could just be like, you know what I meant. You know what I meant to everybody, right? Hey, T. Johnson and Aunt Wanda. All right. So we have our goal and I am going to take you through the full process. Now, I always like to use Caesar heat transfer vinyl. But if you don't have Caesar, like if you use the Cricut brand or if you use the Paper Studio brand, it's OK. The only reason I love to use Caesar is for the reason that I um, explained last time. So I'm not, hey Renee, hey Dion, I'm not sure if you joined me the last time I was live where it was a full and complete debacle. Hey Lakeisha. Um, but at that time, 
one of the things I said was I love to use Caesar vinyl. And one of the things that I did was I downloaded the Caesar HTV application guide. And because I love it so much, I went to the website and I linked it below the video. So if you look, Chris, see, that's the part. She's positive, even though it was a debacle. The whole iPad turned to the opposite direction and she stayed right here with me. <laughs> I was like, why? Like literally there was no reason, but it happened. Hey, Tiffy Gail, I started to call you because I had some, I got some tea, but I had to, we're going to talk later. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Bobby. Thank you so much. Um, so I like to use Caesar, but you don't have to use Caesar because Cricut makes vinyl. So this is their brand and their Cricut brand is called Everyday Iron On. And I'm sure I'm not pointing at the right thing, but you know what I'm talking about is this Everyday Iron On. And they make it in all the same colors as the other brands. Um, Paper Studio is another brand of heat transfer vinyl. They call theirs solid iron on. When I first got started with crafting, I did not know the difference. So I would see all these rolls of vinyl. And if you see there's a vinyl roll holder behind me, I didn't know what I was buying. I just I was buying everything because I thought, oh, I want every color. I want brown. <laughs> Never used it. Why do I even have it? I wanted every color and I don't need it, but I have it. Um, what I've learned is for me, and it might be the same for you, is that you want to keep the basics like black, white. And for me, red is a basic color because I use a lot of red. You don't remember. Linda, did you watch the last live last week? Because. Linda, Linda. Hi, Sue. Sue, this might not be a good place for you because things happen <laughs> over here that don't happen to other crafters. Um, and I want to warn you in advance because I want you to have a positive cricket experience. And I don't want you, I don't want you to have the experience that I had. Okay. Okay. I just, I want to just tell you what was the date of the first video. I don't remember um march something i don't remember sharon thank you it was a lot of learning opportunities it was a lot spanky tell the people because they they acted like they don't know what i'm talking about they know it was a full debacle okay so let's look at it we this is our goal in case you missed it and if somebody comes in and they say well what are we doing what are we working on this is uh what we're working on Beth, I, it's not that I don't give myself credit because I think that, you know, we get through it. And I said that in the little, you know, intro. But there is going to be something that happens that doesn't happen to other people, because at some point the dog might start howling. I don't know. The camera might turn. They might turn a tunnel talk like just things happen. So I don't know why, but it does. OK. You, well, thank you, Second Chance Church of Deliverance, the whole church. Is everybody from the congregation in here? Second Chance, the whole thing. I like that. I, I just got the whole name right there. Okay. I like that. Okay, so materials. You are going to need, what's Roberta's question? I didn't see Roberta's question. What was Roberta's question? Let's see. Can you answer Roberta's question? Uh, what is Roberta's question? I recently used Caesar Easy We HTV on three shirts and it's peeling every one before washing. Hmm. What what time and temperature did you use and what heat press? Because I've never had that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you have a lot to tell me too, Tiffy Gale. What time and temp and what um, what heat press? Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all being here. So I know I didn't say that, but let me say it. I do appreciate you. I know that you are giving me your time and that matters. 
all of that, Kelly, is going to be all of those things. Happy New Year, Crafty Puerto Rican. Okay, so materials, I'm going to be using Caesar. Um, I have white. Now, I have some that I purchased locally. And one thing I want to make sure you know is the reason why, because I didn't go into this last time. I, I prefer, Delanda, I prefer to purchase rolls of vinyl instead of sheets. And let me tell you why. I prefer rolls because number one, you're going to get more vinyl for your money and it just, it lasts longer. For me, a 12 by 12 sheet, most of the time, that's going to be one design and maybe two, depending on what I'm making. So for example, on the 143 vinyl website, and I'm, I am thinking that I'm almost hundred percent right a roll, a five foot roll of Caesar Easy Weed. Hope I'm looking at the right place. Let me just look it up because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Y'all be like, Delanda is a liar. I don't, I don't, we don't need that kind of negativity in our life. Okay, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. Caesar Easy Weed. Let's look at sheets. And somebody get a calculator out somebody okay a 12 by 12 sheet of caesar easy weed one sheet remember a 12 by 12 sheet is the same size as one standard grip mat right this will be the same size as one sheet of vinyl one sheet of caesar easy weed is three dollars and fifty cents okay so if you think about it three dollars and fifty cents when you buy vinyl in the store, like when you buy from Michaels, really, if you get a big sheet or a big roll, you're going to get 36 inches. 36 inches is the same thing as what? Three feet, right? Right? Y'all following me? You following? You picking up what I'm putting down? Hello? Bueller. Okay. So do the math. 350 times three would be what? Somebody got a calculator? 350 times three would be what? Uh oh, we got different calculators. We all using them. what we doing? Uh uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need we we don't all use the same calculator. Let me just use my phone so I can just make sure we all we all have the same unit of measurement. We all <laughs> y'all be doing too much. Three point five zero times three would be $10.50, right? However, so if you buy vinyl by the roll, but you purchase it online, which is what I typically do, what I typically do is I buy my vinyl online from 143 Vinyl. Let's see how much it is in a roll. So I'm gonna look up Caesar Easy Weed 12 by five foot rolls. And I'm just telling you what I do. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it the way you do it, okay? I'm just telling you what I do. Okay, so a 12 by five foot roll, if you were to purchase 12 by five feet, 350 times five, 3.50 times five would be 1750 if you could buy five foot rolls in the store. However, you could get a five foot roll from 143 Vinyl for $12.99. Well, 12.99, 12.99 divided by five because five feet, right? You're getting five feet. You're going to get really what's equivalent to five of these, five sheets, right? Will be $2.59 per foot. So you're saving a dollar per foot by buying more. You understand what I'm saying?
plus I have a discount. So you see what I'm saying? That's why it's cheaper not only to buy rolls, but it's also cheaper to buy it, in my opinion, online. But if you buy a different brand, what I always suggest is take the cost of the vinyl and divide it by how many feet you're getting. So if you're getting two feet or if you're getting four feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, whatever, divide it by um, the cost and that'll tell you how much you're paying per foot. That will also help you if you're making t-shirts, that'll help you with your pricing, right? Okay, does that, does that help? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Atlanta vinyl is good too. Atlanta vinyl is actually excellent. Okay. All right. So I wanted to make sure I addressed that because I didn't address it last time. And, um, well, you don't have to add shipping depending on how much you buy. Okay. All right. So in the, um, in the, in the description below, I have linked the Caesar HTV guide. If you didn't download it last time, go ahead and download it. So I'm going to use vinyl. I'm using Caesar. I'm going to use a cutting mat or two, depending on what I cut. I'm going to use a weeding tool. The weeding tool that I use is a pen pen weeding tool. You can use whatever weeding tool you have. The Cricut brand works perfectly, especially for um, HTV or iron on vinyl. I'm also going to use a heat source. I can use a Cricut Easy Press or I can use a bigger press. I can use the HTV Runt. I won't be using the HTV Runt tonight because it's on the other side of the room and I'm already all set up over here. Um, and I just, I prefer to use that heat press because I know what the pressure is like. The screen is freezing. Is the screen freezing, y'all? Is the screen freezing? Is it? Okay. No, it's good. Okay. We're good. All right. So another thing that I said, if you looked at the description below the video, I said that I will be using a font that's called Genkeist. So I'm going to show you where I got the font from, and I'm going to show you also how to extract it and get it installed on your computer. Okay. Now that's one font you can use. I like Genkeist. I actually use that font when I made the Astros shirt. However, there's another font that I like that's called Vintage Party. Vintage Party is not free. It's actually on the Def uh, Design Bundles website and it's, I think, $7.50. Okay. So they look very similar to me, um, just in case you are wondering. Now with the um, vintage party, of course, when you purchase that, when you get a commercial license with the uh, Genkeist, if you want to purchase that one, you would have to go through the website that the author of that font, um, offers. Okay. But it's free for personal use. So if I'm making a shirt just for myself, I don't have to donate to the author, but I can. Okay. Do I save fonts? I save them on my, on my computer. That's a good question. I save them on my computer. Okay. All right. So y'all ready to go to the font and look at the Genkeist font? Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> y'all are so silly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Close all of this stuff. Close all of this stuff. Close that and look for. And I'm going to open it up so you can see it. Even though I already have it downloaded, I'm going to download it again so you can see it. Okay, so let's do that. And we will share. Let me. Oh. Let's uh, share screen from the window. Come here, share. Let's see what y'all see. And we will also hide this and go to Let's 
full screen? How about that? Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? I'm going to show you how to export. Okay. So you should be seeing the font. And what you should see is that I have gone to this little search box where I'm hovering with my mouse at the top right. I am hovering with my mouse at the top right. And I type in the word Genkeist, G-I-N-C-H-I-E-S-T. Y'all see that? In the search box up here above the alphabet on the right. So I type that in and I hit search. And so the word love is what's showing up because that's what I typed in this box. So if I were to go back to that box, let me go back to that box. I'm hovering, hovering, hovering. See, that's why I typed in Genkais. But over here, let's say I just type in my name, Delanda, because I want to know what my name is going to look like with that font. So in the font called Genkais, that's how my name would look. Okay, y'all see what I'm talking about? So I've, I'm on the defont.com website. I did a search for the font called Genkais, G-I-N-C-H-I-E-S-T. And then I went over here to preview it. So if I wanted to look up um, Aunt Wanda, this is how it will look in that font. Okay. Yes, it's also linked in the description. Okay. So the, the fonts that I'm re referencing are linked below the video. I'm sorry if it's blurry. I'm very, very sorry. All right. So I like it. What I'm going to do, even though I already have it downloaded, I'm going to download it, but you see right here, it says that it's free for personal use or you can donate to the author. Okay. G I N it's, it's linked below the video. I'm not going to keep spelling it. It's linked below the video. What do they say in school? Readers are leaders and we're going to be readers. Okay. All right. So now if you don't like this font, let's just say, you know, you don't like this font. You, 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 you think this is not a good font, right? You don't have to use this font, but this was the one that I referenced. So this is the one that I'm, I'm showing. Okay. All right. So I'm going to click download. And when I click download, there's a box that pops up over here on the bottom left of my screen and it's in a folder and it's zipped. Okay. Right. Y'all see that folder where I'm hovering at the bottom left. See that? Uh Oh, see, I know you saw that. So here's a little folder at the bottom left, right? Readers are leaders. Okay. So I'm going to click that fold. Who said no? Bap. That's me. Bap. That's me. Bap. That's me. That's me. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to click on that folder. I'm showing you now how to unzip it because you can see on my screen, hopefully, that is zipped. Okay, so I'm going to click that and I can see right here a box popped up. And if I don't see that box pop up on your screen, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to show you my full screen so you can see that box. Now I'm looking at my screen and I can see the box did not pop up. So let me close this and I'm going to stop sharing because I want you to see it. Okay. So I'm going to go back. Hey, and share again. I'm going to share that again. I'm going to share my full screen. I'm going to click share. I'm going to hide this, go back here. And hopefully you see the, the font website again. Now, if you came in, and you did not already click like, but you are finding value in what I'm doing, please like the video. That would be amazing. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. And I would appreciate it. Okay. All right. So now 
I'm going to click that box again. You see at the bottom left where it says extract. So I'm going to click that box. And now you should see a box that popped up on my screen that says extract all. It says this is a true type font. I have two options with this font. I have the regular Genkeist plus I have the Genkeist shadow. Okay. So I'm going to click on extract all. See where I'm hovering right there? Extract all. So if you have a zipped folder that pops up and you're wondering, what does this mean? You have to extract it before you can install it and upload it to Cricut Design Space. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to click extract all. And then what I typically do is I'll browse and then I will put the folder where I want to. Now, I already have this font downloaded. I have a folder for my default fonts. <laughs> so what I would do is I would click that folder. I would click select and I would extract it and put it in there. So I'm going to click extract. And now it's in there. And you can see other fonts that I've saved, but I have them in folders. Okay, so now it's there. It's on my computer, right? If I click on it, I can see what it looks like. And I can click install. It's, it's already there, but so I'm going to click no because I already have it. Okay, I'm going to click stop. I already have it. How y'all feeling so far? How y'all feeling so far? It's going to stay, Stephanie. Unless you didn't like the video, it's going to uh, disappear magically. Okay, that's what happens. I already called YouTube and made sure they're going to make it happen. If you didn't like the video, it's going to disappear. Okay, all right. I want to close this out. I want to close this. I don't need any of this right now. Now, another thing I want to show you and if this is your first time seeing this, great. If it's if you've seen it before, also what? Great. Okay. What I want to show you is how to install what's called the Character Map UWP. Character Map UWP. So I'm using a um, Windows operating system, and I personally do not own a Mac because the way our budget is set up. We don't own an Apple device except this iPad, okay? <laughs> I just want you to know that, okay? Y'all are big ballers and shot callers. I have a Windows operating system, okay? So y'all with these big dollars, we don't, we don't, that's not us, okay? All right, so I'm going down here. I'm going to go to my um, search at the bottom, and I'm just going to type in character map uwp i'm sorry if it's very blurry use your good good glasses okay and put your put your eyeballs actually literally on the screen what i typed in is character map UWP character like a character he's a real character map like map MAP then UWP like <laughs> that means nothing that means nothing and I'm going to click open thank you spanky I'm going to click open because it's already installed on my computer. If you don't already have it installed, you might be clicking install. Now, let me tell you about the character map UWP. I love it. I love the character map. I can't because this is my laptop. I already didn't. I, didn't we talk about the budget to live? You want to send me some money? You got two dollars? I think we talked about it. 
Okay? I don't. I can't. Okay? All right. So here's the character map on my computer. I love the character map because what it does is it shows me all of the fonts that are installed on my computer. These are only my system fonts. These are not my Cricut fonts. These are only system fonts. These are not, they have nothing to do with Cricut Design Space, okay? So I can look through here and I can see all of the fonts that I have and it shows me what all of the special characters look like. So this font right here is called Candle Mustard. And you can see like all of the special characters that come along with that font. This right here, this font is called uh, Cheerful and Beautiful. So if you were ever wondering where are those special characters that people add to their the glyphs and all that stuff, this is where it is. It's in the character map. So what I did was I went to the bottom of my screen to that, see right here where I'm hovering with my mouse at the bottom right there, the task bar. Thank you, Spanky. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So this font right here is called Cherry Blossom. I'm looking at all of these special characters. Look how pretty this font is, Cherry Blossom. And all of these beautiful special characters that come in here, you only get to see this through the character map. Okay? So if I wanted to, you know, make something really fancy, and I have a, I have a, um, I think it's called Font Book on a Mac called font book on a Mac, which I don't own, Beth, okay? So if I have a full tutorial on my uh, channel already for how to use the character map, how to download the character map, how to access these special characters and stuff like that, I already have it on the channel. But I'm showing it to you because I want you to know what this looks like and how to use it and how to access it. Chocolate is another one of my favorite fonts. It came from defont.com. I use this one often because it is a script font that is bold and I love it. Thank you, my flower. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. Christmas and Santona, another nice font. Okay, so now we're going to Genkais because I want you to see what Genkais looks like in the character map. So here's Genkais. And within Genkais at the top of my screen, I can filter the search to just look at the regular Genkais or I can look at the stylistic set one, stylistic set two, stylistic set, I don't see set three, but I see stylistic set four and I can see stylistic set five. And so it changes some of the letters. Mm, no, when you download uh, Genkais, it comes with all of these sets. It comes with them. Why what, Donna? Thank you, Live Your Best Life. Y'all have the best youtube names live your best life i love it okay so for this tutorial even though the shirt that i made said um astros because valentine's day is coming up i am going to type the word love in this font called genkais i'm not gonna have to do i'm just showing you what these characters what this font offers Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, I'm just showing you what, what your options are and all of that stuff. All right. Look at that. So cute. So, so cute. Okay, so I'm going to um, go to Cricut Design. Let me stop sharing for a second and um, see how y'all are feeling. See how you are feeling. Hey, says Mocha Crafts. Hi, 
How y'all feeling? Better late than never. Thank you, Colleen. Oh, wait, I got to look right here. How y'all feeling? Hey, T. Roderick, look at that. How y'all feeling? Hopefully good. Hopefully that was valuable. Hopefully you're getting something from it. Say, ah. That's all I'm missing up here is a microphone. <laughs> okay, Alicia. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Good. Okay, we're going to fantastic. Thank you, Sandra. Bessie, all right. You can watch it. Tammy, you can watch that thing. What they say from the rooter to the tutor. <laughs> from the beginning to the end. That's what they said on, um, who was that movie? <laughs> who was that movie with Eddie Murphy? What was the movie with Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy? When uh, Gerard's mother brought a whole trough of chitlins? <laughs> y'all don't know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna need y'all to know your movies. I do have on my channel, this show. We're not gonna talk about the awkward artists. Not life, not that one. Eddie Murphy was dating Halle Berry and he cheated on her. Bob, you're right. I have. You lost Sonya. Somebody help Sonya. I don't know. I don't know where I lost you at. Boomerang. Danielle Carter saved the day. Yes, it's called Boomerang. <sighs> Y'all gotta learn your movies. I'm almost out of coffee. Boomerang. Um. She brought that thing of chitlins over and she like, Gerard's mother brought a whole trough of chitlins. <laughs> Y'all got to get better. Y'all got to get better. You got to do better. Okay, I'm going to Cricut Design Space now. So we have our, um, we have all of our materials. We already know what font we're using. I'm also going to show you the one that's called Vintage Party. And the reason, and you'll see the reason why I wanted you to know about the character map, UWP, okay? Thank you, Yesenia. Leona, that's awesome. Okay, we, we're ready. Those movie titles mess you up, Kristen. They mess me up too, even though I've seen them a lot of times. <laughs> see? Baby, I told y'all my favorite part of Friday when those two Jehovah's Witnesses show up at the house on that early Saturday morning. That was just, come on, sister, you half dead mother. It was too much. Okay, we're we going on to Cricket Design Space. Y'all trying to get me off my game. I'm not going to do it. Okay, present, share screen. We're going to Cricket Design Space because I'm not doing this. We're going to stay professional. I was lost on the live video. Uh-oh. I'm sorry about that. We're going to do full screen. Okay. Hey, Dumps. Can I see you, Karen? Yes, I do see you, Karen. Hey, Michelle. God. God the brand. God. All right. Pluto Nash. Haunted House. Okay. Okay, so we are in Cricut Design Space. And what I told you I was going to do is use the word love and I'm going to put it on a shirt. Okay. Stay focused, Kristen. So I told you last time, if you join me that, um, whenever I'm making a t-shirt, I always use the t-shirt template. The reason why I use a t-shirt template is because I want to make sure that I'm sizing my, um, image or my design big enough to fit across the t-shirt that I'm using. Okay. So pay attention. You're seeing you. This is this. Now we're getting, well, we, what that song? Now we're getting down to the good part. Okay. Then we're getting down to the good part. So I'm in Cricut design space. I'm going to click on templates and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look at classic t-shirts. Now the t-shirts that I use are really, 99% of the time, they're always going to be the classic t-shirts because I prefer the Gildan heavy cotton shirt. Okay. Grab the <laughs> like the mama did. Uh-uh. 
Act like the mom would <laughs> I can't deal with y'all. Men's short sleeves. So at the top, I don't know if you saw that, but there was a message at the top of the screen that said templates are for reference only. So what you will know is that nothing is going to be cut out, right? Now, I'm not using a white shirt because I typically do not make white shirts because I typically do not like white shirts, okay? It's just not my thing. Some people love them. I'm not one of them, okay? Because if I'm eating nachos, that's my business. That's between me and who? The Lord. You don't need to know that because it's going to land on my shirt, okay? So I'm going to choose a men's short sleeve. I'm going to choose a medium and the color of the shirt that I'm going to use is black. Okay. Now <clears throat> I've seen a question come up several times, not necessarily here, but I've seen it on TikTok, where uh, people will say, well, how do you make a shirt if it's, you know, bigger than a medium? So if you go right here to size, you can go, you know, the biggest they have is what is called a uh, 2X, right? But you can go to a custom size, okay? So if, like I click on custom, it changes the settings up here with the width and the height. You see where I am at the top? So if I'm making a shirt that's bigger than a 2X, right? I can look up here at the width and the height and I can make it bigger than this. See what it's doing to the shirt. It's getting big. Y'all following? You see what I'm saying? Okay. So now I don't do a lot of sales and the people who I do sell to don't need that size, but I wanted you to see that. Okay. So I'm going back to my, um, men's short sleeve medium and I'm going back to black. Now I do suggest that when you're making a shirt, thank you, Melissa. I do suggest that when you're making a shirt that you do use the template, that is the color of the shirt right i think it should just be the front of the shirt um kristen like if you buy a 3x or a 4x i would just suggest measuring it across okay um make sure that you use the color of the shirt because that will give you i'm not using canva i'm in cricut design space elevate artistry okay um because that'll let you know what your design is going to look like okay all right Okay, so I am going to go ahead and click on the text box and I'm going to type the word love. Okay, and I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there in the corner. Now I'm gonna just move it over here for right now and I'm gonna make it big and I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, I'm just put one right here and one right here so you can see both. Okay, by Tanya. Oh, Tania. I hope, I'm not sure if I said it right. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to click on one of them. Remember the font was called Genkais. So you see what Genkais looks like, right? And I want it to be, I'll just keep it as uh, black for right now. But I also want you to see what the other font looks like. The one that I told you that was called Vintage Party. I'm going to do the drop down. I already have that one saved, so I'm not going to, go through the whole process of download extract and all of that because I just showed you how to do that but because I and because I already have it saved you would just follow that same process okay vintage party looks like this okay and of course I would still want it to be black now I like both of these the difference is um, one of these is free like this is the free one this is the one that's called Genkeist which is on that picture with the Astro shirt. This one is the one that's called Vintage Party. And remember, I said this one is, I think it's $7.50 from um, Design Bundles, okay? So you have options. Now, when I look at Vintage Party, okay, what I want you to know is if we were to go back to that character map, 
I can make some changes to Vintage Party, okay? Oh, I let y'all get me last time, and I was asking, like, oh, which one do you like, and should I make it? No, we're not on that tonight. <laughs> y'all got me last time, but not tonight. Not tonight. Okay, so let's look at Vintage Party. Oh, let me say this before I, let me stop for one second. Let me go back. Let me stop. I'm going to actually stop sharing and hopefully you will. Um, let's do that. Um, stop and we will do this. Let me see. Okay, let me say this, and I'm, I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space, but I want to make sure you understand this because a lot of people get stuck with using the character map UWP, okay? When you're using the character map UWP, you saw that I had two different fonts on my screen. At the top, I had Genkais, and at the bottom, I had Vintage Party. If I wanted to make changes to Vintage Party, I would have to make sure that Vintage Party is selected before I go to the character map. I'm going to say that again. Brenda! Hey, Educated Natural. <laughs> Let me say that again. At the top of my screen, I had Genkai selected. And at the bottom, I had vintage party selected if i wanted to make changes to the font let's say i wanted to make changes to vintage party i would have to have vintage party selected in cricut design space before i go over to the character map some people will say delanda the character map is not working when it is it is <laughs> it's the user. <laughs> when I was a tech specialist, I would always tell people, it's not the computer, it's the user. And they would be like, you're right. Not knowing that they were the user. <laughs> it's the user, okay? So if you go to the character map and it's not working, it's because you don't have the font selected. Okay, you have to have the font selected in order to use it in the character map, because if you go to the character map without having the font selected, you're right, it won't work. Okay, okay, we're going back to going back. We're going back to the Cricket Design Space. Ah! Oh, let me change the view. Okay. Yesenia, we're not on that right now. We're going to stay focused on what we're doing. Okay. We're going to stay focused on this for right now. Okay. And just remind me at the end. Okay. All right. So I'm on, I have vintage party selected. If I go to the character map, which is down here pinned to my to the bottom of my screen, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I, I certainly do. Um, let me see what y'all see. Looks like y'all don't see what I see. Y'all don't see what I see. Let me stop. I thought I did a um I thought I did a let me present it again, share screen, uh, full screen, share, hide, design space. Are we there? Apple is not the business. Okay. I don't know. All right. You can't hear. Did the sound go out for everybody else? Oh, Lord. Jesus Christ. You see it. Okay. All right, so I'm on Vintage Party, and I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my screen, and I'm going to go to the character map. Now, 
Now, remember, I'm on Vintage Party. So I have to scroll down and go to the one that's called what? Vintage Party. All right. In order to make any changes to it. So here's Vintage Party. And right now, I have this L right here. Let me see if there are any other L's that I might like. Let's see what this one is. That's a capital Z. So no, I don't want that one. Let's see if there's a different L that I might like. Let's see if I like this. What is this? I don't like that. I don't really like any of these. What is this? It looks like an L. What do you have under the lid of my Cricut? What do I have under the lid of my Cricut? Oh, those are positive affirmation stickers. Okay. All right, so I can look at these and I can decide, yes, I like them or no, I don't. Now, this one is not really a, um, not really a L, it's a Z. But if I want to pretend like it is an L, I can, because who's going to stop me? Nobody, right? I can say I like that as an L and nobody would know that it's really not an L. All right, but let me look at some of these. Let me look at the... Uh, let me see what the E looks like. Because I want to show you how to use these and get to the glyphs. Um, where is it? Boy, boy, boy. D. Oh, they have a lot of options of D. Uh, they don't have a regular E. I don't like any of those. I don't really like any of those, you guys. A, D. I don't like any of these. Oh, this one is kind of fancy. Okay, so let's just say I want to change. Let me go back to Cricut Design Space. So see this E, right? You see how it looks right here, right? And what I would have to do, because right now I'm looking at this, this one is called Vintage Party. I would have to ungroup this. And then I'm, I'm looking at the letter E. Let's say I want to change the E only, just the E. Like I want to keep the L the way it is. I love the O, I love the V. If I just want to change the E, I would click on the E. I could click on, click on it in my layers panel or I could right click on it over here on the actual canvas, but I'm going to click on my layers panel. Um, well, I'll right click on it and I'm going to click, um, Okay, it's selected right there. I'm going to go back to the character map, UWP, and let's say I want to change it to this E right here. See that one? It's a little fat and a little different. It's a little bit different. It's not very different. There's another E right here. Now, that one is a little fancy. I kind of like that one. I like this one. I'm going to go with this one. What I'm going to do is click Copy, and I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space, I'm going to right click on this E and I am going to cut and I'm going to go right here and I'm going to click paste. Oh, no, wait, just kidding. Undo. Let me go back to my um, <clears throat> here. I'm going to click copy, go back to Quaker Design Space, right click and paste. That's still not the right E. Why isn't it working? Let me undo, undo, undo. Because that only happens to me. Hold on. Some of y'all like, this girl just lied. Okay, let me try it again. Go to copy. I don't know why it's not showing differently. Because it should. Let me try this one to see if it will. I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back to Gregor Design Space. And I'm just going to click paste. It still looks exactly the same. I want that other E. Hold on, y'all. I want the other E. Go back. Leave it up to me to confuse the beginners. It's not giving me the right E. I don't know why. Ungroup. 
I don't know why it's not giving me the right. Where's my E? Where's my? I did. Uh, I did. Uh, it's not giving me the right one. And it's in it. It's like it's tell me that I can ungroup it, but it sh I should not be able to ungroup it because it should just be one thing. I'm sorry, y'all. Just leave it up to me. Just, you know, just go follow somebody more competent. I did ungroup it. Look, it's nothing. It's not showing. It is the user. And why do, look at this. Let me try it one more time. Let me try it. Let me try it one more time. Let me uh just grab another text box. Let me see if it'll work with any. Let me see if I can change this T. Let me see if I can change it to this T. I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna go back. There, ah, I see what I did. Let me go back. You see that? Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? I love y'all. So the T, I did not, I did not do the same thing with this E. Let me try it one more time. So I'm going to go back to that same E that I was trying to get this one right here. I want to click copy. Then I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to double click on that one, delete it, then right click and try paste again. It's still not doing the E. Let me try it again. Let me try one more time. Maybe it's just, it's just the E. No. Let me try it one more time because I can't, can't quit on the E. Copy. You see how it was different for that T? There it is. Just repeat it 77 times. Where's my sign? Hold on. I am going to delete that and I'm going to also delete this and we're going to do it again. We're going to do what? It again. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it again. Okay. No problem. You got it, Delonda. I'm going to type my, bring my text box down again. I'm going to make it big and I'm going to type the word love because even though I'm not feeling love right now. We're going to do it again. This font is called Vintage Party. I'm going to ungroup it. I want to select this E. I want to go back over here to the character map UWP. I'm going to select this E. I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space. I am going to have this E selected. I am going to, I think I deleted it. I don't know if I ever, no, I did not delete it. I need to hit backspace. No, that wasn't it either. Undo, undo. Ungroup. E. 
could. That's not it either. <laughs> it's the user. Oh, you know what? If I click on this and then do it like that, that's what I do. Don't ask me to explain what I did because I don't know. I don't know. Do you want? I had to click on the V. I think you clicked on the V, put the cursor on the V. That's what I did. I did. I put the cursor on the V and I moved it to the right and then I clicked paste. I'm sorry, y'all. Go go follow somebody more competent because I just I I there's vintage party. I'm sorry. I'm going to bed. I quit. I quit. But anyway, that's how you use the character map. Well, you know what? That's not how you use the character map. That's how you do nothing. <laughs> how do you waste somebody's time? That's what you do. You just do everything that you just saw me do. That's what you, you want to waste somebody's time. You do that. Okay, here we go with this. This is Genkeist. And with Genkeist, I think my bottom layer is going to be white. And what I'm going to do is look at this on this shirt. I can already tell that it's um, too big. And I'm going to bring it down to probably right at 10.5 in width. Okay, I think that looks, I think that looks good. It might even be too big, maybe 10.5. Maybe 10. Jacqueline, it, it's me. It's only me. It, this doesn't happen to other people. Okay, so here's um, love. And I think um, my next, what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and add an offset to this. Now, I typically, let me make my uh, screen bigger so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, let me add an offset to this. Now, the offset automatically on my computer it de it uh defaults to 0.25 i'm not sure if yours do that but mine do um and i think that is a little bit too big so i typically bring mine down um, i think i'm going to look at 0 0.08 and i'm going to click apply um let me see what that looks like okay that doesn't look bad so this is what you know, my shirt will look like if I were to make it like this. And because I'm layering two, um, well, actually three layers of vinyl, I would take my, let me go back. I'm gonna go back to my offset and click apply. I would have both layers selected. So if I'm looking at my um, layers panel on the right, right here, I see two layers. I'm going to have both layers selected. I'm going to add another offset. Thank you, Nicole. I appreciate that. So I'm going to click offset again. The offset still defaults to what you selected the last time. So I'm going to click apply. And now that second offset, it looks like it's a gray or something like that. So let me see what it would look like if I were to change this to like red. Oh, I kind of don't like that. So let me see if I do white as my bottom layer. And then for my middle layer, do red. And then for the top layer, do what color would I want it to be? Let's say if I do, let me see what black will look like. Oh, I don't like it. So if I were to put this on the shirt, I think that's too, almost a little bit too plain. You think pink, Kristen? Um, I think the offset is a little bit too thin. So what I would do is select the top layer, which is the black layer. 
and I would delete this stuff right here. I want to delete that because I think it's too thin. Let me offset it again and make the offset a little bit bigger. Let me go to 10 and click apply. Um, let me make it a little bit bigger. Let me try. Let me see what that looks like. I think I like that. Let me see. Okay, I think I want the top layer to be, y'all know I have to have red in there somewhere. Maybe the next layer should be white. And then offset it one more time. Let me see, you think the bottom layer should be pink? Let's see. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Let me click advanced though, because that's not really pink enough. Oh, I love it so much. I should have got some. Did I get glitter pink? I hope I did. Let me go right here. Oh, that's kind of scary. But I think it's going to look nice on the shirt. So if I take the whole thing, let me bring my view back down and uh, move it over to see what that'll look like on a shirt. I can do it like this. And you know what, before I place it um, down on the shirt, I could, you know, it don't matter what I do here. What matters is where I put, not like that. Uh, what would matter is how I place it on the shirt. Let me group it. Um, if I wanted to turn it like this, you know, I could. Okay. Can you layer HTV on glitter? Yes, I can, but I would need the best way to do it would be to slice it. Okay, so I like that. What do y'all think? Yes, we like it. Okay, so let me tell you what I would do. I would take all three of these layers. Now, let me undo all of that. Um, okay, and because I am using three layers, I think some hearts. I'm not really into hearts like that, Patricia. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I just, I'm more simplistic and I, the hearts, I really wouldn't do it. But I mean, when you make yours, go for it. Um, what I would do if I wanted to layer this, I would take that bottom layer, which is the pink layer, and I would take the middle layer, which is the white layer, and I would select both the white layer and the pink layer. Pay attention to what I'm saying. I'm looking in my layers panel. I'm looking in my layers panel, the white layer. I'm gonna hold my shift key and the pink layer, and then I would just slice it. Now it looks like it's all sliced out, but what happened is the uh, white layer is just on the top. So if I move all of this out, I can see what happened. Okay, so I have my red layer that's on the top. Um, what I want is this pink layer to be the outside, the bottom. This is the inner part of the pink. Y'all following what I'm saying? This was the inside of this pink. I'm just taking it out. Let me do it again. Right now, I'm looking at this file and I have three layers, right? I have a red layer, I have a white layer, and I have a pink layer. And if I'm looking at my layers panel, I have the pink on the bottom, I have the white in the middle, and I have the red on the top. Y'all follow that part? And because each of these are offsets, right? Because this was my original file. I just made the white as an offset of this. The offset is just a, a thicker version of this. Okay. Following that, I have three layers and I have three layers over here. Red, white, pink. Let me just do one 
two layers at a time. So if I put the white on top of this pink, right? And I were to select the white and the pink only, just the white and the pink, and I were to align it and just center it, I could, because I have two layers, I can slice it. When I do that, I'm gonna be left with this outline. Following. Following that. Yes. Because let's just say this is glitter vinyl. With glitter vinyl is, I mean, people do layer it on top. I personally don't because it will not last as long when you wash it. It's gonna eventually start to come apart. So this bottom layer would be my glitter and it will look like it was layered when in all actuality it's not. It's just the bottom layer, okay? So this would be, really, this would be trash. I can just delete this and I would still have my white layer to go right on top of this. Now, if my white layer is not glitter vinyl, I can just leave it just like that, right? If my white is not glitter vinyl, I can just leave it just like this and I can put this on top. Well, I can, let me add my, make my red, my top layer, right? I can just put it right on top, just like this, and be ready to cut. Okay. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. So the glitter layer is really only going to be yes. Okay. So if I wanted to cut it just like this, I can. Okay. All right. So, and I really, I mean, I could. Now, I don't know how y'all feel about that pink, but I feel like it's too thin. I kind of feel like it's too thin. Like you can barely see it. What y'all think? Yes. I kind of feel like that pink, it's almost like you won't be able to see it, but we'll go with it if y'all love it. It is pretty thin. I think so too. So I hope I don't confuse anybody, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little, I don't, I'm not really feeling that. I'm gonna delete those. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the offset again, but I'll make it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit, maybe up to 15. Let me see. That still looks thin too. Let me see. Uh let me see. Well, maybe that 25 wasn't so bad. 0 0.25. Maybe it wasn't so bad. Let me click apply and let me um, change it to white to get a good look at it. I kind of like that, y'all. Yeah, I like that one. And then I'll offset it again. So I'm going to still end up with what? Three layers. And I'm going to click apply. And I'm going to change that bottom layer to um, pink. Maybe this like pink right here. We did not change to pink. We wanted to change to pink. It's they going to look nice here, but it's going to be nice. All right. I like that. Oh, Robert, you must have left and came back. We, we, we are, we not on that one. We are getting kiced. All right, so now I can see that this is too big, right? Cricut is not going to allow me to cut this without needing a large mat. And I don't want to use a long mat. I want to use a, um, I want to use the, just a regular standard mat. And so what I'm going to do is just have everything selected and kind of just bring it down. Let me group it for one second and put it over here because this will be the front of my shirt, right? And I can see that the width of this is 13 inches. Let me bring that down to like maybe 11.5. I think 11.5 is fair. So the whole file is 11.5. Now, because I know that bottom layer is going to be glitter, 
um, what I want to do is go ahead and ungroup this. And I'm going to select just the white and the pink from my layers panel. So I have the white. I'm going to hold the shift key and I have the pink. I have two layers selected. Remember, slice only works when you have two layers selected. I'm going to click slice. And it's what's going to happen is what happened the first time, right? So I'm just moving this stuff out that I don't want. So here's my bottom layer. Here's the white that's going to go right there in the, in the middle of that. And then here's the red that's going to go on top. I'm just going to move it up right here. Okay. So I like that. I actually like it a lot. This is, I'm just delete this. All right. I feel like we're good to go. Um, and I really could slice this out. I could slice the white from the red. I probably should. Let me select the whole thing and align it and center it. Okay. And I can select the white and the hold my shift key and the red and I can slice it so that I'm really not just being so wasteful. So I have a pink outline, a white outline, and then my red, which is going to go right there in the middle. Okay, so this, I can save this or I can throw it away. All right, and I'm good. All right. So now I can click make it. And what should happen is that I should have three mats. I should have one red mat, one white mat, and one pink mat. So I'm going to click make it. And remember the size of my full design is it has a width of 11.5. And I can see that right here. I can make it bigger if I want, but I do think this is a good size. Okay. I didn't weld. I don't need to weld. My offsets were welded. My offset was set to weld. That's a good question, Nicole. Oh, thank y'all. Please, yes. If you haven't already liked the video, please do. All right. So, and then here's my, you know, my, this is, I call this the prepare screen. I don't know what other people call it, but that's what I call it. Um, you know, you can make this screen bigger if you need to. Like, sometimes I need to. Um, and you can just, you know, I'm going to mirror this because I'm using heat transfer vinyl. So I have my white layer. I'm going to go to my pink. I'm going to turn on my mirror. And I have my red. And I'm going to also mirror this. Now that pink looks like it's nothing. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Like it looks like literally nothing, right? Do y'all see anything? That's weird. Okay. Anyway. All right. We're going to white. We're going to click continue. How did I get it to slice without welding? How do you get to the text to slice without welding? I don't think I ever weld because I, my slice is set to weld, Kristen. Look, the pink is gone. It's only two match. Y'all see that? Let me click cancel. Now, I know y'all saw three mats. See, this one is this stuff don't happen to nobody else. I promise it doesn't. Y'all see this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna try it again. Maybe, maybe. Look. Do y'all see that? You know what? Let me tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just change this to uh yellow. And then because it really, in all honesty, it doesn't matter what color I put right here. What matters is what I put on the mat. Okay. Let me see what happens. Let me see what happens. 11.4, Kristen? That is crazy. Okay, Kristen said I have to change it to 11.4. So I'm going to just line it all up again. Let me change that back to pink then. Since, since it don't... This is so... Oh, crickets. 
Oh, crickets. So I'm going to align it and center it. And um, I'll make it smaller. We'll try it again. Let me click make it. There's pink. <laughs> wow. That isn't going to matter. She had the same issue. But why? Why? Why does it have to be 11.4? Whatever. Okay. So if that happens to you, change it to 11.4, you guys. All right. So here's my pink. I'm going to mirror this. And my red, I'm going to mirror this. Now, remember, before I changed the size to 11.4, I put it all back together. So if you have that same problem, you have to make sure to put it all back together to make sure it's aligned because otherwise you'll have one, one of your layers that won't be aligned. Okay. So I hope you, why does the have an offset? Did you just join Antoinette? Okay. I'm going to everyday iron on for my, uh, I'll start with the white and I'm going to keep it on default pressure for everyday iron on. Cause I'm just using regular Caesar easy weed and I'm going to put it on the mat face down. Can you explain which layer you press first? I just press which layer or can you explain which layer you press first? Well, you have to press the biggest layer first because everything else is going to fit inside there. The white, the inside of that is going to be cut, Antoinette. There is a warning on the mat. It just says to make sure it's mirrored. That right there. Can you see the layers peeking out from behind the first and second layer? Yes, you're going to be able to see it. And I have to remember that the pink is my biggest layer. So that's the layer that's going to be pressed first. Okay. Remember, remember when we designed it in design space, the pink layer is the biggest. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to stop sharing for now. And I'm going to go here. I'm using, I'm going to do my white layer first. And I'm going to put it on the mat face down with the shiny side facing down. I use multiple mats because I like to have the next mat ready when the first mat is finished. You don't have to do it that way. That's just what I do. Will my vinyl shrink? Now you just gave me another reason to explain why I love Caesar. Caesar only has to be pressed. Look right here. Caesar only has to be pressed for three, two to three seconds. And I love that. So that stops with the shrink. Okay. So let me turn on my heat press. Okay. You have six mats. That's so good, Katrina. And, and it's reasonable and logical. Okay. That's that's good. I wish y'all had done a better job of being reasonable and logical in my shopping because I'm not. Katrina, I see something. I just, I buy it. Okay, there's that. There's that. I'm sorry if I confused y'all. Matt Queens spanky is so bad. It's so terrible. So before I, um, and I always cut my vinyl on the mat. Some people don't do that. They're like, they cringe when they see me do this. But so I looked at Cricut Design Space and I know that the white vinyl needs to come down to at least the six inch mark. So if I'm looking at the six inch mark on this mat where I start cutting, I'm going to cut across here on the six inch mark. Okay. That's what I do.
And I just, I literally do cut it right there on the mat. And some people are like, why do you do that? Do you cut through the mat? I've never cut through a mat. That's between what? You and the Lord. Yeah. So here's my white. I'm going to cut the white first. It's not straight, but it's good enough. As long as it's below that six inch mark, we good. All right. So now I'm going to go and um, share that screen. Uh, let's go to this one. And we'll go to this. All right. So here's my cricket. And you, somebody asked, like, what are those? Those are just uh, positive affirmations. So one of them says, prove them wrong. Each day is a fresh start. She designed the life she loved. Go the extra mile. It's never crowded. True facts. All right. So I have the mat on the, I have the vinyl on the mat face down. The shiny side is down. So when I'm looking at my vinyl, if you've never cut vinyl before, this is the, shiny side this is the dull side when you're cutting heat transfer vinyl cut it on the shiny side okay so i'm going to press the flashing c and i'm gonna let my vinyl cut while that's cutting i'm going to be loading the next mat because i have multiple mats So my next mat was, let me see what my next mat was. What is my, it's pink. Let me see what pink I have. I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of pink, y'all. Oh, I do, I have a glitter pink. I'm gonna cut this one. Caesar Glitter HTV and this neon pink. We're gonna go with neon pink. And if it looks bad, guess what? I'm gonna give it as a gift. <laughs> Which vinyl should you have? Which vinyl should you have? Yes. You know, I was talking to somebody today. I was saying that I always teach my kids about self-love because I think a lot of times as parents, that's one of the things that we kind of don't do. And, you know, my girls are twins. And I asked one of them, I said, who do you spend the most time with? And she said, you know, like she said, oh, the, the other twin. And I said, no, that's not true. You spend the most time with yourself. <laughs> you spend 365 days, 24 hours with yourself. So the person who you spend the most time with is the person you should love. Okay, so I'm going to make sure. Let me. So I would feel it, right? I would feel it like, okay, did it cut? Am I sure? You know, I would check. And if I wasn't sure if it cut all the way through, right, I would press the C to let it cut again. Okay. That's what I would do. So if you ever come across this and you're like, man, did it cut? I'm not sure if it cut all the way through. Just press the C. And if you don't have this machine, like if you have the Maker 3 because you have a lot of money, then you would just press the play button. Okay. So let's pretend like I, you know, I, I have that, right? And I'm not sure. So what I did is I just pressed the C and it's going to cut it all the way through again. How did you fix the doll on the Cricut? Mine stays on custom. I would, let me move the phone so you can see it, but I'm so scared. I don't know if you can see that, but it just stays on the custom. No matter what I'm cutting, I still keep it on custom. I never change it. You have to love yourself. Y'all, you see how many mistakes I make on these videos? And guess what? It don't stop me from loving myself. If you love yourself, 
you know how you should be treated and you will act accordingly and people will do what act accordingly and when somebody does not act accordingly they have to go and, and i'm now that's something i'm serious about i'm i'm very serious about that i don't let anything disturb my peace i love to laugh and if anything tries to disturb my peace it's got to go i'm not kidding about that all right, so then the next layer is uh, red. Now, this might look weird, y'all, because I have regular red, and then I have um, hot pink. <laughs> if it looks bad, I'm going to be like, oh, baby girl, I made this for you. Like, oh, you did? Yes, I sure did. Okay, so now I'm going to unload this one, and I have my pink layer on the mat, right? And I'm just going to double check. Let me just double check myself that I didn't. Oh, see, I could see that. I'm kind of pushing it. But guess what we're going to do? Give it a good old college try. We're going to try it. I got the pink layer on the mat. I'm going to load it. And I'm going to change the settings to uh, <clears throat> from everyday iron on to glitter iron on. And I am going to change it to more pressure. And I'm going to click the flashing C. All right. And then I'm going to get the red. Thank you, Nicole. Uh-oh. Don't look. Don't act up now. What do they say? Act up, you get snatched up. Act up, you can get snatched up. All right. Y'all, we've been on here for a long time. I feel so, I always feel so terrible when things go wrong in Cricut Design Space. I try my best to be ready, but it just don't always work out. Because guess what? It's the user. It's the user. Sure, it's going to be pretty. You think so? You think it's going to be pretty? <clears throat> What'd you say, Dim? <laughs> your son deserves your peace. I mean, disturb your peace. Baby. I mean, look, if my son disturbs my peace, I'm guess what I'm gonna do? Disturb his. Okay, so I do feel like that cut through, and I'm actually looking at it and I can tell that it cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload that one. And then I have my next mat. So I'm a mat person, y'all. And I don't suggest that anybody be this way because it's actually not healthy. You would do better to eat a pack of bacon. Because this ain't right. This ain't right. This is not right. <laughs> this is not right. But it's okay. Whitney Houston made a whole song about it. I'm gonna love you. Oh, can you sing on YouTube without them giving you a what? A strike? Cutting. In case y'all wondering how I cut on the mat. Like, let me see if I could. Like, I literally just cut, like, right on the mat. Like, just like this. I take my knife, and I just cut right there, and I just take off the part that I don't, that I'm going to save, and I just insert it. Bam. Let me double check, make sure it's down. Good, good, good. I'm going to click done. I am going to change that from glitter iron on just back to everyday iron on because I don't need to have it on that much pressure. I'm going to load it. I don't care if it's crooked. crooked. I am an affiliate with 143 and Atlanta Vinyl. Yes. 30 pack of mats. You did, Alfred. I have a lot of mats. I probably have... I might have uh, Alfred. Um, so I have all of these. These are just the ones that are over here. Then I have a closet full that I have not even opened. They're like brand new, still in the package. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> 
Lakeisha, it's your fault too. So let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about it. Okay. Okay. So now. I hope I didn't just mess something up, y'all. Because I'm known to do that. So the layout. Okay. So now I'm going to this, right? And I have this link below the video. This is linked below the video because I refer to this. So I'm going to look at where it says um, Caesar HTV applications. I'm looking at the one that says glitter, right? So it tells you how to use this vinyl. This The pink that I'm using is a glitter. It's a glitter vinyl. Can you get mats longer? than the ones you have. See them hanging up right there, Petrina? I use a lot of mats. The shells at the Cricut, it's actually a disc. All right, so I'm going to use the glitter setting. Let's see what it says. Okay, so it tells you how to do this if you're using an iron. It tells you how to use, apply this if you're using a Cricut Easy Press. And it tells you how to use it if you're using a standard heat press. It says cut in reverse, weed, preheat garment for two to three seconds, apply design at 320 degrees. Um, but if you're using a Cricut Easy Press, instead of doing 320 degrees, you would do 350 degrees. If you're using a Cricut Easy Press, instead of doing 320 degrees, you do 350 degrees. All right, medium pressure, 15 to 20 seconds. Now, because I'm layering this, I'm not going to um, do the full amount of time until I get to my top layer. All right, so my bottom layer is the pink. So let me show you how to weed. Maybe y'all already know how to weed. But I'm going to show you anyway. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So let me remove this. So I would take, well, I have a lot of weeding tools, but let's just say, right, here's my pink. I think y'all know how to do weeding already, right? So I have it. I'm just going to remove the parts of the vinyl that I'm not keeping. So I could really, now I could really be saving that, but <laughs> I don't think we're that desperate for money. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just lose it this time but y'all be better than me okay if you want to save yours you know because maybe you're saving up for a mac a macbook or something like that then save it but you know what every little bit counts now i don't know what i would do with that but maybe you do you know what i mean so i'm just taking this off right taking this off some people would save this they were like no no <laughs> somebody gonna have the outside of the shirt and somebody gonna have the what inside but I, we're not okay so here's my pink layer right and so you're wondering like did i do it right this is what the pink layer looks like following okay so now i have my pink and i will get my next layer which is my what my white Y'all, this is going to be so, so cute. So super cute. And somebody might add hearts to theirs, right? I'm not, but that's not really my style. Like, if you see shirts I make, I really try to stick to, like, simple, simple designs. Except sometimes I'll add some of that confetti, the tea sprinkles, because I like that stuff. I have a lot of that stuff. I really don't like to do um, sales though, you know, so if I'm making something for just for myself, I don't always use that stuff. Oh, something fell. Okay, so here's my white, right? Uh -oh. So I cut that one too much, remember, because I did a double cut on this. 
If you just joined and you did not like the video, please, please like the video. Don't make me do all this hard work and not have a like on my video. When you like, uh oh, I see a piece I did not read. When you like the video, that lets YouTube know that there's engagement on the video, that people are liking, enjoying the content. And so YouTube will push the content out to more people. That makes sense. That's why you hear content creators saying, please like the video. Because that's how other people disco discover it. Dips, you still in here? Is Dips still in here? I don't know if she is. Hi, Misha. Yeah, we are live. Oh, y'all, this cut, cut, cut. Yeah, drop your channel, Dimps. Dimps has a channel too, you guys. Okay. Love. All right, so there's my white layer that I struggled to get off the mess. Y'all, I'm kind of nervous about how this is going to look. And here's um, my red. I have never put red and pink together. I have never put red and pink together. Never. <laughs> so if it doesn't look right, I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. Anybody else wear red and pink together? Some people probably do. I just haven't ever done it. I'll do it. Okay. I know I'm missing a lot of questions. I know I'm missing a lot of questions, and I'm sorry. All right. So I'm just taking the pieces out that will not go on the shirt. If you are into sales, y'all. Get your get your stuff together now. Get on and start doing what you um start living your goals, whatever goals you have for yourself. My goal for this year, stay. It's just stay. Oh don't leave. Y'all still here? I can't even tell. I have no idea what happened. Okay. My goal for this year is to get more sleep. Okay. And I have, I have the red and pink. Okay. Thank you, Kristen. That's good. All right. So what I'm going to try to do, y'all, is move this. Lord Jesus. I hope it works. I am going to try to move the other camera over to the iPad like I did, I mean, over to the heat press like I did last time. I'm so scared. I'm so, so scared. If it disconnects, y'all just stay here anyway. We're going to, we're going to, let's see. It's gonna work. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe. Okay, let's make it the solo layout. Thank you, Robert. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sleepy too, Robert. I didn't even eat dinner. Let's see. So layout. Okay, y'all can see the heat press. It's about to get weird for a minute because I'm gonna be standing right there. Shirt. It's a cotton shirt. It's a gilding, actually it's a gilding heavy cotton shirt. I typically buy shirts from Hobby Lobby. I'll buy them from Michaels. I'll buy them from whoever has them on sale. It's a gilding heavy cotton medium. I take my shirt, I fold it in half and I get a crease down the middle. Somebody asked like, where do you line up your crease? Let me see if I, 
So I line it up right here with the, the arms at the arms and the arm pit. <laughs> That's what I do. Okay. All right. And I am going to do a what? Pre-press. And I'm doing the pre-press to get the moisture out. And I'm getting the, look, hey. <laughs> and I'm getting the crease at the same time. Let me see if I need to make this. Y'all, if I drop this, I'm sorry. Y'all can see it. You can see me and you can see it. I'm going to do a pre-press, remove the moisture, and get a crease. Ba -ba 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 okay right so i got a crease and i did a pre-press i got the moisture out and now i know where the middle of my shirt is right so now i'm gonna take the shirt put it back on the heat press and i'm doing that layer of glitter vinyl first so i have my outline of my glitter vinyl some people fold theirs in half to get like and then they add they put the crease on top of the crease that's on the shirt i don't do that I did not lint roll. I don't lint roll my black shirts and I barely remember to lint roll the polyester ones too. Good question. Okay, that's actually a great question. All right, so I come down like three finger lengths. That's kind of what, you know, I do. And I just kind of eyeball it. Like I'm eyeballing it to see where it is, right? So I'm just gonna do a three to, maybe I'll do a five second press because it's glitter. Patricia's still here. Drop your channel, Patrice. Okay. So I did a five seconds. I didn't put anything on top. Is your code to 143? Yes. My code is Delanda5. So I'm just going to peel it off. And I did not peel that. Um, I see some vinyl that was... Some of this glitter stuff, I'll have to get it off video, but you'll know what I'm talking about. Here's the first layer. So I'm going to do the second layer, which is the white. Y'all, I'm nervous about this pink and white. I'm nervous about this. I mean, pink and red, because I've never used pink and red. I'm nervous about that. Now, I am going to put parchment paper on top of this. I am a person who likes to use, hey, <laughs> I like to use, look right there. I like to use parchment paper when I'm layering vinyl. Some people use Teflon. I like parchment paper. I just buy the cheapest one from Walmart. What is it called? Great value? They ain't lying. It is a great value. I love it. Okay? That's what I do. But you, y'all Mac users, y'all probably buy Reynolds, the most expensive one. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. This they need to hire me. <laughs> like Delon, do you want to model parchment paper? Well, yes, yes, I do. That's why it's cheap because there's nothing inside. But your paper is different, but yeah. I'm just going to tear that thing, okay? Okay, so remember I'm using Caesar. I only have to tack this down for like three seconds. And I'm still on. <laughs> I'm still on 320 degrees. I should have already decreased the temperature because this is not glitter vinyl. This is regular. But it's, now this white and pink is cute. The white and pink is cute. I'm worried about what this red is going to do, but white and pink. I don't even know if y'all can see the pink. Can you see it? You see it like that. Yeah. Thank you, Patrina. Let me decrease the temperature, y'all. Because with the regular Caesar, it should be on 305. That's too high. All 
Okay, so I'm gonna let it come down. You think it's gonna look good? Okay. I'm worried, but we'll see. I'm worried. I've never put red and pink together. with the sound on. You gotta watch it with the sound on. So let me line this up. I had so much fun. You saw it, Tiffy Gale. Tracy, Tracy, thank you for being here. <laughs> Look here now. I like this little shirt now. People who know me will be like, Delon, you, you wearing that? Cause I don't think I, and I love red. The people who know me know I love red. I love red. But red with pink, I would have never, I would have never thought of it. You like my TikTok, Levada? Thank you. Gems, I saw that you, you laugh. I had so much fun with that. These little teenagers got me doing all kinds of stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna press this one. I'm going to press this one for, let me look at the, I follow the guide. Y'all gotta follow the guide. Okay, Caesar Easy Weed 305, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So I'm gonna do a full press, 15 seconds. My earrings are red. Yes, I have, these are Kendra Scott's and I think I have every color except yellow. <laughs> Madison put some uh, lip gloss on my cheeks. <laughs> And she was saying, mug press, mug press. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cute, y'all. Y'all better get with Caesar. I don't know what you, if you ain't using Caesar, what are you really doing with your life? It's cute. <laughs> See it. The guide is linked below the video. Can y'all see the red and the pink? Can y'all see? I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know which way to turn it so y'all can see the. I don't know which way to. I don't know if you can see the red with the pink. Okay, is that good? That a good view? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I might have to, you know, figure out how I'm gonna wear it. Maybe if I wear it, people be like, "Let's go on a date." He won't. <laughs> he just do whatever I say. Okay. The guide is in the description. Yes. Okay, I'm going back over here. And um, I gotta check my check my thing. Check my check. Where's my thing? Why do I always lose it every time? Why do I always lose it? Because I want it. That's why I lose it. Oh, right here. Oh my gosh, we've been on here for a long time. Y'all stuck it out with me. Did we accomplish our goal? Thank you, Pete. Make Peter one, he won't wear it. <laughs> Did we accomplish the goal? Bueller, Bueller. Yes, okay, perfect. All right, let me say my say while I show you the shirt one more time. Hopefully you can see it better over here with the light. Oh yeah, you can. You don't see it. Man, the lighting makes you not be able to see the pink and the I don't know how to fix that, but oh, you can see I didn't line it up real good right, right, right here, right there. See that? It's a little off. That's another reason why I don't do sales because I'll be like, wait a minute, it ain't right, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me say my say. Thank y'all for joining me. I know that you gave me your time. Your time is equivalent to your treasure. I don't take it lightly. I appreciate you being here. 
if you are driving and you are one of those people who wants to, you know, drive fast and somebody wants to drive faster than you, let them go around you. Let them have the road because guess what? I'm going to be late. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. I'm going to be late. Okay. But guess what I do? Arrive alive. When they go around, I always just tell myself, they have to use the bathroom. I always just say that, oh, they must have to use the bathroom. So if they honk at me or if they go, over, I don't care. What's more important is your life. Don't get yourself caught up in road rage. People die senselessly by road rage. Think about it. That person is driving, you're driving. They want to go around you. Just let them go. Just let them go. Don't ever get yourself caught up in that, especially if you have somebody else in the car with you because people, I used to say, well, you know, people are crazy. And I don't think it's that. I think that people are going through stuff and we have to be cautious and we have to be aware because, you know, if somebody is driving to a job they hate and now you in front of them and you driving slow, <laughs> now they, they about to give you some super chat. a finger i call it the right finger of fellowship don't give them any fingers just look straight ahead and you're going to do what arrive alive you're going to get to your destination they're going to get to their destination i'm going to be late i already have it already ready rl with the running emoji that means what running late okay all right y'all be good to each other okay anything i miss hopefully y'all got it go back you always say, that's your mom. <laughs> you know you're the right finger of fellowship, but I ain't talking about this one either. That's the sinner's finger. I ain't talking about this one. I'm talking about the other right finger of fellowship, okay? Okay? All right. I enjoyed y'all. I'm sorry if I confused you in Cricket Design Space, but that's what I do. I confuse people in Cricket Design Space because it's what? The user. Okay, y'all go make a shirt. You know how to layer. You're only tacking it down for a few seconds. Okay? Y'all go be good to each other. Watch the video if you need to. Hit the like if you forgot to. Okay? Bye, y'all. <laughs>